Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be showing you a recap of a 2021 action thriller film titled Wrath of Man. As always, spoiler alert, watch out and take care. The movie is set in Los Angeles, where two bodyguards working for a cash truck company called Fortico are transporting dollar bills. However, before they reach their destination, a group of thieves block them. During the heist, several gunshots are heard, which confuses the audience because the robbers have already taken the two guards hostage. Before we learn the entire story, the plot shifts to the main character, H, also known as Patrick Hill. He has applied for a guard position at Fortico, where we meet Bullet, a senior employee who conducts his interview. After the interview, H takes field tests, including fitness, aiming, and driving, and he must acquire at least 70% to qualify for the job. He successfully passes the tests and qualifies for the job. H and Bullet head to the locker room, where Bullet introduces him to the crew. One of the guys, Dave, acts cold and bullies him, but little does Dave know that H doesn't care about his opinion. In fact, all the employees at Fortico seem to act strangely towards him, including John who disgusts him. Later, we learn that Bullet has swapped John's duty with H, which is why everyone is acting cold. After that, Dave, Bullet and H transport money and Bullet trains H on how to do the job. On the following day, the trio is set for another round, but this time, some thugs confine Bullet in an attempt to rob the truck. Dave grasps the situation by listening to Bullet's screams, and he decides they need to retreat. However, H thinks differently and reminds Dave that Bullet is one of them, so they can't leave him alone. The duo agrees to the thieves' demands and drives the truck to its destination while H holds the money in their car. During this process, H throws a bag and shoots one of the robbers, leading to a shootout between the robbers and H. H manages to eliminate all the robbers alone and interrogates the last one about who he works for. Unfortunately, the guy doesn't provide any useful information, and he is also eliminated. At this point in the story, we might realize that H is part of something bigger and has been hiding his true intentions. H's actions quickly spread through Fortico, and everyone who previously bullied him now cheers him on as if he were a hero. Even the Fortico CEO praises him for his efforts, but he remains quiet because his intentions are to achieve something else, rather than fame and admiration. The scene cuts to three months later, where Bullet and H are on a job, and the robbers attempt another heist on the truck. However, this time the robbers run away upon seeing H. Fortico's employees start thinking of him as a psychopath, while Bullet sees him as a dark spirit who terrorizes everyone. While Bullet is telling Dave about the story, the plot widens, and we see how the robbers fled upon seeing H as if they had seen a ghost. The plot quickly shifts to five months earlier, where we learn the whole story, including the first robbery and H's connection to the plot. H has a son named Dougie, who is visiting him on vacation. However, the same robber named Mike calls H, revealing that H is their boss and they are planning to rob the truck. Mike tells H that there is a problem with the job and they need H to provide intel about the truck's route. H refuses because it's the only time he gets to see Dougie. Mike acknowledges the situation but their other members can't reach the location in time and H is already present on the spot. With no other choice, H decides to do the job and take Dougie with him to Fortico's front gates. He parks the car near the gate and tells Dougie to wait until he gets back. H provides his acquaintance with the route information and goes to buy some food for his son. While he is buying the food, the heist begins, which has been shown in the pre-credits. Unfortunately, H's car is parked near the spot, and Dougie… Dougie becomes collateral damage. H runs to his son after realizing the situation, but the robbers shoot him as well. H wakes up in the hospital after three weeks and learns that his son Dougie is dead. At this point in the story, we theorize that Heej's own gang has killed his son, but we become confused after learning that Mike and his teammates weren't the ones who robbed the bank that day. It turns out that another unknown gang was stalking the trucks too, and they killed Dougie in the process. Mike tells Heej that they have tried finding the person responsible, but they haven't found any leads yet. Heej tells them to try again, and the gang begins to disrupt the whole city by massacring other big gangs. However, Mike builds up the courage to tell H that he isn't in the right mind and they may need a different approach. H realizes this too, and after Mike insists, he decides to go on a vacation. In reality, he planned to join Fortico and obtain intel from the inside. He changed his identity, cleared his criminal records, and joined Fortico. And the story picks up from where it started. However, this time we get to see the unknown gang who killed Dougie. 
The plot starts before the heist, and turns out that they are retired soldiers who are struggling to make a living. One of them, named Jan, suggested that they steal the money their former companies are holding from them, and their boss, named Jackson, agreed. They robbed a millionaire, but it wasn't enough. Jackson then suggested that they go after cash trucks, and if they can get a man from the inside, it will be an easy job to do. The whole gang reaches the spot to rob the truck, but they spot H and Dougie parking their car on the road. During the heist, Jan kills the guards of the cash truck, and Dougie witnesses him committing the murder. Jan recognizes the potential threat and kills Dougie. Meanwhile, H is rushing towards his son when Jan realizes that he has gone too far and decides to shoot H as well. The plot then fast forwards to the present, five months later, where Jackson suggests their final heist is to steal the entire depot worth $150 million. However, on the day of the heist, Bullet and H are once again en route together. During their conversation, Bullet reveals that he has friends who have also been targeting the cash trucks. Initially, H acts indifferent, but when Bullet confesses that his friends are planning to rob the whole Fortico today, H decides to cooperate because he wants to confront them. After that, Bullet changes the truck's route to his friend's hideout, and the whole gang, except Jackson, gets on board the truck to bypass Fortico security. When the truck returns to the facility, H comes out with his hands cuffed. Bullet acts as if he's a hostage too, and the whole gang spreads out, taking everyone hostage and begins to steal the cash. While they are patrolling the facility, one of the guards begins to shoot them, due to which H gets a chance to knock out one of them. Bullet rushes towards the guards who are shooting at them, and the guards give him his own gun, only to be eliminated in the process. H disguises himself in their uniform and goes out to eliminate them. In doing so, he places his cell phone in one of the bags. An intense shootout begins between the gang and H, in which H manages to wound Jackson. However, Bullet appears out of nowhere and shoots him down, allowing them to escape while H can do nothing but watch them flee. Only Bullet, Jan, and a wounded Jackson are left alive. They reach their pit stop from where they are about to escape through the tunnels, so that the police cannot find them. Jackson knows that Jan isn't the right guy to trust, and he must eliminate him. However, he doesn't have the energy, and as Jan realizes Jax's intentions, he simply eliminates him. Jan and Bullet then escape through the tunnels, but when Bullet learns that Jackson is dead, he senses something fishy and decides to kill Jan. However, Jan knew that Bullet would do something like this, so he eliminates him from the game too, and escapes with the money. Later, when Jan is celebrating his success, he hears a phone ringing from the bags. H tells him to answer it, and Jan does not know why H is after them so badly. H throws Dougie's autopsy report, and when Jan remembers the incident, H shoots him in the exact same spot where his son was shot, eliminating him. Thank you so much for watching, we hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for even more videos just like this. And if you have a movie you'd like us to recap, let us know in the comment section below, and we'll see you next time. Take care.